Oh, it's just a bit of dock. That gun there is the SAF gun, six inch naval gun, pointing down towards it's there out to sea, the North Sea itself. Installed by the guns near and on 1918, and the D ordered them in, and those, those placed in here anyway. That's the North Gun. So I headed down into so further down the coast, just that side wouldn't be where I think. But I must have been quite a near actually. What had happened like yesterday, they just saw this a 10 inch table gun. And uh, a bit of practice shots. That's out there, like wouldn't play with a light ass. And the battery over there as well, I think that was six inches. A couple of guns on the beach in the Jews anyway. But getting back to this 10 inch gun at uh, Whitney Bay. Uh, well, it was, it was doing some practice and it blew out a lot of the windows in homes and shops in Whitney Bay. Funny that. Because like, what had happened then, like, the MD was filled by the council, got to get all sorts of that. Yeah, cost them quite a bit of money now. I'm going to show you the location of that. The gun's not gone, obviously. I'm going to show you the location of the gun. Uh, like, Working way down the coast where there's rocks for the year. Uh, Protecting our shores back in wartime, first and second. I say with these guns yet, yeah, just setting them in. It's all early this year. We're going to have eight next year. We need a bit of repair on the two of the roofs because what's happening around the installation lot there, yeah, they got kids ripping off the tar sheets and all that, wrecking them. They've been lucky with the request of God, like, yeah, putting out there, please don't defeat them, guys. In fact, fair play to you gangs who beat the arse as you have left in the road. It just cost a lot of money, like, in places. Us before, always get an ass to the beach, why would we pay? Good camouflage. Here comes the beach. Don't forget First World War, that was 1918. It's all like coverage building at some of the Gurdon there, you see. That was installed Second World War. So these were open guns. But with nets over to camouflage the enemy. White wall you see, any of it white indicates it was added in after the Second World War. Could have been first, I can't remember now, it's too much to go on. But yeah, it's just to stop people, young ones, falling over like, because it's quite a bit of a drop. That's just to see. So yes, we're uh, there's a bit of repair work on top, on the south gun, left hand corner. A lot of wear and tear going on, I mean everyone's jumping on top of the guns now like yeah, and getting onto the roof. We're getting quite a bit of damage. What's happening now, what's with the, the south gun's famous anyway, it's had a bit of the back. If someone comes off, they're going to bust their legs. That's even more serious injury. What's happening now, is the bricks, Surrounding, they're being kicked out like so. Yet another bill. All we ask is just respect the place. So 
Okay guys, so what we're going to do next, we'll work on the 10 inch naval gunners up there at Whitney Bay. Get some details on that. Stay safe, Hilton. <laughs>